It's five o'clock, so let's get started. I would say it's five o'clock somewhere, but it's five o'clock right here. So I'm <laughs> yours. <laughs> We are, so I've missed you guys. Missed you. Yeah. Thanks everybody for jumping on. This is good. We, we've got um, not a whole lot to discuss, but what we have to discuss is important stuff. So um, I, I think if, if you look at the agenda, um, we can skip through most everything. Um, I guess Karen or Steph would have told us if we had a guest. Right? No guess? I don't know of anyone. All right, and Nancy should jump on because she said she was going to be here. Mm -hmm. Participants. Kathy, I can let you know a couple things. One, the meeting is being recorded. Um, yep. Two, who's ever doing the minutes for you needs to get them to us within 48 hours so they can be posted as draft on the website to comply with the Senate Bill 840 that allows you to have a Zoom meeting. Oh. And the the people I have attending are Caroline Brinker, David, Karen, yourself, Kathy, Andrew Miller, C. Grant, Deb McConus, Donna Cawthorn, Caitlin, and Kristen McCoach. Okay. Okay. And I'll just mute, mute myself so um, so you guys can do your meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, so no, go ahead. Who? Nancy here. Is that correct? Uh, I don't see Nancy on yet. Yeah, Nancy's not on yet. Me there, but she, but so was she, she was on a call. She was on a business call. She okay. she texted me. I don't. I'm sure she'll join you as soon as she can. Okay. okay. Since okay. I'm taking the minutes, I'm trying to keep track. Yeah, you you do an awesome job, Donna. You do. Um. So meeting minutes from the last time we met. Did anybody? Did you? I read them. They looked good. <laughs> Good. All right. So uh, does anybody have any, is there any discussion on the minutes? Is there any, are there any additions or any, anything that we need to do to change them? Nope. Add anything? So is there a motion to accept them? Motion to accept. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Move on. Right. Thank you. Um, any correspondence? No. Right, Karen? Nope. Mm -mm. No member inquiries? We haven't been there. No one's been there. So um, no incidents reports because no one has been there. Um, so let's jump all the way down to um, other business. Um, and well, you know, first of all, is everybody doing okay? Everybody, hey, Warren, everybody good? Okay. Yeah, we're good. Yep. Um, Surviving. Yeah. Surviving, yes. That's about as good as it could be said for it. Um, getting ready to, to move forward a little bit, right? Yes. Hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew, you crack me up. That just cracked me up with the background. But um all right, all right. So Karen, yellow reopening. Are we you hit that first and then the rest of us can can <laughs> chop in and Okay. Um, as you may or may not know, we've had to uh, make recommendations to the board and we've kind of navigated the waters of uh, all the layers of what's allowed and what's not allowed. We now know that we're going to yellow on the 5th. Um, I can tell you that the CDC continues to abide against going to the dog parks and I can explain those reasons if interested. However, my presentation to the board suggested that since we are a member park, that we try to move forward with some level of opening with the, with a few um, conditions. I don't want to say restrictions because I think they're more conditions. Um, and they were presented to the board and they are uh, in a nutshell. Oh, let me get back on my computer here. It's, I'm sorry, I'm not look, looking away because I'm looking at my computer screen. Um, and and the, the general idea is go, play, leave. Um, and uh, we have a minimum um, in yellow. There is a minimum of 25 gathering in any given area. Maximum. 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 Yes. Uh, and that's that's an area. Uh, while the dog park's a big area, 
Um, my presentation um, included 10 per side at any one given time, which pretty much kind of for the most part. Um, at, at the best, we could get up 12 per side. Um, you really don't want to get too far up into the 25s, but I think 12 is a 10 to 12 is a good number. Probably what you have anyway, for the most part, of a really busy day, but uh, it requires social distancing. That's uh, part of uh, yellow operations is social distancing. Um, you have to wear a mask or have a face covering or have it with you and in all this. Uh, this is registered members only with absolutely zero guests. Um, if anybody's not feeling well, feeling ill, has been exposed to COVID-19, or if your dog is sick, and I'm not saying with COVID-19, if your dog is sick, stay home. Um, and that if, if everybody can move forward with these uh, and accept these bits of restrictions, uh -oh. or, I lose you? then we're prepared for next, for next weekend. <clears throat> Is that, can you hear her? Who are we? Who? Are, who? Uh -oh. I can hear fine. I can hear fine. I may have lost. I can we hear you. Maybe because you're on your porch, your Wi-Fi might not be great. I don't know. I'm heading inside. Who, are we, who did we lose? Me. No one. Kathy is <laughs> relocating. I'm relocating. I, I want you all to, to see my, right. my... Oh, never mind. A real yeah, we're loving the scenery. All right, so now there's my basement. All right, now you're there. So um, that's in a nutshell. I mean, this and I we this has been derived from many many meetings with many 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 park and rec folks, and trying to come up with a plan that would allow some form of momentum um, during yellow. Uh, at a at a member park, uh, and it's uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's not it's not too um, minimizing or limiting on people, and uh, the board the board uh, accepted that. And hopefully, the dog park will embrace this. The dog park committee will embrace the idea, and that will allow us to move forward. Um, even though CDC said recommends no, um, that's our plan of attack, and it gets you back in the park next weekend. Hey, Karen. That sounds yeah. like a great plan. Karen, maybe I missed it. How are you going to manage the occupancy? Yeah, that's what I had about, a question. Like the, self the, fact, yeah, the fact of the matter is, and we all know it, and um, that we're going to have to put faith in our members, and we're going to have to put faith in our board, who are members that go. Um, it, there's a caveat at the end that if failure to comply, we'll shut down again. And um, I'm sure it'll be I, posted and everything, but. Yeah, yeah, I want to see success. And I think the fact that we're trying to get people back in, I think I can count on the, all the, the, uh, the group, the grid of people that I'm looking at right now um, to, to support this. Um, we know. Um, Will there be an email? Yes, yes, we'll, oh yeah, we will notify anybody and we will lay out these conditions. I'm gonna call them, yeah, they're conditions. I mean, this is what we put into the board to to move around. Um, it's not, you, you're not gonna get it from your dog. Your dog's not gonna give it to somebody else. The issue is the same situation that you have in contact. You're home cuddling and loving on your dog or someone else is cuddling and loving on your dog and you can be transferring any number of things. Um, if you have to get into a tussle, you got to get in there. That's why the face covering um, should be on or on quickly. I'm going to say on. I'm not going to try to create a parameter here. I'm not going to chase people around. And the six foot um, social gathering continues in yellow. So if that's too restrictive for folks, then I would probably suggest that maybe they don't want to start going back to the dog park yet. But I think it's a, it's a real clean, easy way of getting in. And this has become uh, through many, many Zoom meetings with my colleagues, both locally and up and down the East Coast, this has become the norm for member dog parks in reopening. Okay, so an email will go out to all of our members, plus there will be signs at the dog park, correct? Correct, correct. Okay, and <clears throat> then as Carolyn said, if day one when it opens, we have 30 people, 
her yes. side. Right. Wanting to be there. Um, what's going to happen? Well, my question is, my, my clarification is, clarify for me, Karen, how many people in it, how many people are allowed in the small dog, how many people are in the large dog at a time? I've, I've moved it up from 10 to 12. Okay. And for the most part, was I, the one I see on the cameras, <laughs> at a given time, that's a fair number. I don't think, we don't have too many times that we're way, way over that. And the, the large dog group has ability to communicate with each other in the app. So does the small dog, sm so does the small dog park these plays Facebook. So my recommendation is communicate with people and, and, and make plans. And if you've been there for a while and somebody's coming up, excuse yourself and give somebody else a turn. Um, this is a temporary solution and during a temporary, uh, public crisis and we'll get past it, but it's, it's a way to get it open. So, um, hopefully you have, we have, and we've got the cameras in place. I don't have time nor does anybody else to sit there and stare at the cameras, but if somebody wants to call me, tell me what the case may be. I, I think that with each other's support and supporting each other and respect for our park, I think we can probably do this. Well, I think the biggest concern would just be in the beginning with the nice weather, people being trapped in our house. I think once you get past the first week or so with nice weather, it will calm down. Right. So. And what I recommend, I think, Kath, in the, with, uh, to, to, to talk to each other by way of the app. If you see people, because on the app, you see people checked off. So just pick a time outside of that. And I know the small dog folks, I know that are there at different times that's that's not an issue in this case it's not really we're not going to say well if they're not there can we have two more you know we're just going to keep it keep it simple and try to move forward and get past this to the next side um and that that allows us to get it open um otherwise we have to stay closed so um looking for everybody's support looking for your back i know it's going to be a little bit of honor Aaron. well the reality <laughs> is is if is if you have more than 10 dogs in a big dog park, that's too Not many. Dogs, people, people. Oh. I know, but I'm just saying, if you have more than 10 dogs in a big dog park, that's really almost too many anyway. Because mm -hmm. you're more likely to have an issue with two dogs if there's that many in there. Right. So that's, is, 12 is a good number. This is one of those times where you really don't want to have an issue. You don't want to have to go face to face with somebody getting, you know, getting your dogs out of a, out of a little tussle. Um, it's a it's a really good practice scenario for separating your dogs and it's a big area and i think when you separate dogs and they're doing what they can you, you know and you call them to you and you're and you're socially distanced we can start to move forward with this a little bit we're going to try it um so so my question to you guys who are there if it starts getting and if you're there and it starts getting crowded can you speak up and say, hey, you know, we need to turn things over or, or are we going to day one when it's a gorgeous day and it's open and you have a packed house? And I mean, you know, people waiting, which, and you all tell me, maybe I'm saying the wrong thing, but what's going to be our plan there is if, if you have 20 people who want to go to the big dog area. What would be the issue with using the app and having people sign up in order to go so you can track it and so people know not to go over there, require it rather than just suggest. Yeah, yeah these are requirements to open, yes. Yeah. So no, 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 using the app, using yeah. the, the app, app. requirement. So That's you have right. to be on the app. Right. So Warren, so I, I don't know if we can, Karen, can we do that? Yeah, we can. Um, we can say we can say require whether we're, we can. We don't. It's we don't have any teeth for it really. I mean, I, I think if it does put a little bit of onus on the board to help support this, if you're, especially if you're out there. And I think, and we do have to keep in mind that we have we we do have a, a gamut of people that runs from one end of the spectrum to the other. The very the very um, afraid who, who aren't going to be there right now to the people that just don't care. Um, and we need to be, you know, in the email, we'll, we'll strongly recommend that people, it's time to, um, if you want to participate at the dog park, then you have to be respectful of, of everybody's feelings while you're there. 
Yeah, I, I think you're right. You just you just have to request that they that they pay attention to the number and 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 warn them that if it that that Big Brother's looking and if and if it happens if it really happens, well then they'll have to close them down again. So. Yeah. Okay. So so are you guys good with all of this? Are you good? Uh, Any thoughts, questions, anything else? Yeah. Behind it. I think it would work. I think people would be respectful of each other. Okay. Okay, good. I mean, that's my big thing, because you all know that I'm not there. But I, it just worries me that those first two or three days could be, you know, mm -hmm. packed. But I think if we get the email out, if we get the, um, the signage up, you know, and encourage, like Warren said, or, you know, the app is re re as required as it can be right then we'll be good right we strongly yeah i reckon we require that you check the app ahead of time and select the time and if there's already people there just pick a different time and the same thing as we as we get the word out i think yeah the first couple of days and there's gonna be those that just ignore everything and don't care we you know that happens it's happened for eight years but we'll you know, we'll we'll move forward and this is a this is a um it's an opportunity and we don't want to have to go down again we want to keep going forward so if everybody can embrace that then i think we're but the important thing is no guests no extra people um yourself your dogs and stay stay distanced and there's plenty of room out there to, to chat with each other um from a distance and it will be just so everybody is aware it will be at your own risk that we, we do not have the manpower to go out there sanitize <laughs> Gates and all that, so I recommend that you bring hand sanitizer um, on for your way in and out. Sanitizer, don't leave home without it. <laughs> don't, don't. Yeah. Isn't that the truth, though? And your mask. Yes. Yes. No. There are several pharmacies making them. There's several uh, breweries making them, so you can uh, have a squirt and a shot at the same time. You can. Uh, Go to town. It yeah, just don't confuse them, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so everybody on board with reopening? Yes. 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 Okay. Kathy, right. Now, Karen, will will you do the signage? Do we, as far we'll, as we'll do the signage printed inside? Um, because I mean, we'll, I'll just get Caitlin on it on on Wednesday. Um, we have signage for everything. I mean, you know, Kathy, you're more in tune with a lot of stuff, but uh, there's a lot of signage that has to be done, and and we don't have to do huge signs at the for the dog park. Um, we'll put them on each gate, um, and uh, and get the word out, and 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 really, this is for everybody's benefit. I mean, it's they, it's for every for all members' benefit. It's an opportunity that for us to move forward, and it's what people have been waiting for. Um, so, so here's a, and oh, it. <laughs> I have the app, but obviously, you know, with Lily not being a dog park dog, I don't use the app. Is there a place on the app that would allow um, information to be added? I don't have the, I have the, I have the app on the little dog side. I can't have both at the same time. That or Donna, Andy, do you all know? I mean, is there something we could ask? Um, shoot, is it Greg? What's who made the app? George. No. George? Yeah, I think it was George. So could George just add the, you know, what if Has anybody I, George at the park? Up before we closed? I haven't anybody know? That idea. Never mind. Let's move on. So we're all good. We, we all, as a board, um, do we recommend moving forward as um, presented? I do. Yes. 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 So consensus, yes. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. I don't think we need to make a motion because it's just. Yeah, just, a, yeah it's just an update. Yeah. Um, Warren's the strong silent type tonight, I see. What? <laughs> Warren's the strong silent type hey. tonight. Uh. I said, oh, there. Hey, there he is. There he is. All right. So, uh, like, call me later. 
Anything else on um, on reopening? No. Wing and a prayer. Wing and a prayer. Um, I, I, I have, well, I have heard that other group we were talking about has also discussed dog parks, Kathy, so we'll come back to that if we need to. Right? I don't think we need to. Okay. Okay. Um, I haven't had a call all day, and of course I got a call now. Um, all right, so Caitlin, are you there? I'm here. So the next thing is survey, just because we've talked about it. And, and I think that, that really, and, and you guys, you know I want you to chime in on this. Until everything settles down, we want to put the survey on the back burner, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I would think so. Okay. Okay, good. Good. All right. Spotted lanternfly. Let's uh, put them on the back burner, too. <laughs> and set fire to it. <laughs> I wish they, they are, so you know they are hatching. Okay. All right, that doesn't surprise us. No, I've been squishing them. Um, and they're going to be everywhere. But, but so what? I, I sent the email out, you know, and I went out there with, you know, Chris Mason was wonderful and set up the meeting with, um, Brooks. Brooks, help me out. What's his last name? Marty. No. Uh, yeah, you were Bob, with Bob you McMullen. It was Bob McMullen. Oh, Bob. Oh, that's right. Gee, all right, Bob. Thank you, Donna. Um, he was wonderful. And our biggest thing right now, and I told is to educate our members. Um, so that not to freak out with the nymphs. Um, but um, Penn State just put out a new you know, with the sticky tape and put the wire and all of that, if we as a board want to tackle that. Otherwise, as he said, um, it's, if needed, we wait till July or August. So, so do you all want to, does anybody interested in doing an informative kind of sign or? Um, I will say that I think- do you want good idea because a lot of people stand in the park and talk about the fact that nothing was being done. <laughs> They're just sacrificing the trees on purpose. That answer. They, yeah. They well, won't kill, go ahead, Karen. They won't kill the trees. They just make it really look bad. Well, and maybe not even that though. I mean, that's the, but so, so the thing is, is, and, and of course I will make the sign if, if that's okay with you guys. It, and we'll post it, you know, that this is our plan of attack for Keystone tree experts. This is what, so Donna, like you said, people think we're not doing anything. We do have a plan. Yeah. So Steph, what do you think? Kathy, um, and the only caught my ear when you said the spotted liner fly, our environmental advisory council has been pretty proactive um, in putting signs up in different places as well as brochures. So we can always make those available to your dog park committee as well. That's okay. all. Okay. And they've done a great, yeah, a, a great job on that. And I was actually going to pick their brain as far as what we put on our signs for the dog park. And the biggest thing is to let people know that we do have a plan and that we're not going to lose our trees and that, that it is to the advance, the, it's just the best plan is to wait until the lantern flies come back to address it and, and kill them then. That's the, that's what we were told. Questions, guys, comments. Hi everybody. Uh, this is Nancy. I'm sorry. I was a little late to the meeting. I apologize. I was delayed earlier. Um, so, any comments on the lantern fly? I mean, we could we could do the the um, chicken wire and the the um, the fly paper around the trees if we want to now. But we need to do that. You know, it's got to be us. Um, we get together and do that if if you all want to set a time and do that, you can. But 
we cannot expect Chris or Greg or anybody else to check that for us. They've got way too much other stuff to do. And I, I would advise not using the tape because it doesn't catch other. Uh, but we did something here last year, again, but it would be on the dog park advisory board. They only have one good jump in them. And knock them down, they tend to climb back up. We put just little tin pans of water with just a little bit of Dawn and they drown almost instantly. So we have tons of them that way. And since the trees are fenced off, we might be able to pull that off. I saw that kit they were selling at Wear Rings too. I'm not sure the price, but I can check. So is that the fly paper and the chicken wire and and you put it around the the tree and and it catches the nymphs but not um, you know the chicken wire is supposed to keep the the bigger the butterflies and the other things that we want but it it catches is is that if if that's what it is I don't know. If, if you've got a plan for doing it well, let's let's I mean, it sounds like you had a plan, a uh, recommended plan. We'll just count on doing that. Okay. All right. I, don't, I think it's reasonable to let people know that, that we do have a plan and that, that it will be worked on and, and to not and basically okay. tell people that, it, that it's, it's at least being handled. Okay. Okay. And it's handled by the experts. I mean, that's the yeah, that's biggest exactly. thing is that we are working with the tree experts are, are you guys okay with that yes, yes absolutely yeah. okay yeah good let's keep it simple and, and if you have an opportunity you should go out to your trees and see if you can find the nymphs they're really really tiny once you see one you'll be able to find them quickly but when you first go out and look they're hard to find well the same when Warren and I went out to scrape the eggs we were like um we think and then all of a sudden boom there they are and right. it's and they were so right. obvious. Right. They're not until they are. And the, the little nymphs are going to go up. They, they'll, go, they'll go all the way up to the top of the trees and then they'll come back down as the uh, lovely little pesky butterfly. Okay. okay. All right. So, so those of you who are at the park support that we do have a plan. It's working with Keystone experts. Uh, and again, considering, make sure you explain that considering that it's dogs and all of that, that it's, it's a safe plan, it's the safest for the dogs, and also, um, and, and I think I mentioned it in my email that it doesn't take very much to kill the lanternfly, and if a dog eats it, they taste awful and the dog will spit it up. And it takes a teeny little bit, so there, the toxicity in a dead lanternfly is not enough to be harmful to a dog, unless your dog wants to eat thousands of them. Which, I know, hope we don't have thousands of them at this point. Right, same exactly, time. exactly. And Deb, you might have to bring your own dandelions this year to, to, to move Daisy away from the lanternflies. I, I'm telling you, Daisy's <laughs> walking around, on her walk, she's stopping and grabbing dandelions as we walk by. But as long as the dandelions are not the lanternflies. Okay, good, so now, um, Caroline, are you there? Is, is Fanny Chapman going to open? Yes, they are. They're planning on opening uh, probably the 27th June. Okay, and then do you have any idea if Phytoflot is still? Well, that's what, that was the one thing that um, I wanted to ask if you got. I, I don't know what phase we're going to be in by then. Um, uh, you know, how the limitations are going to be for something with, with Fido float. So if you guys still wanted to request to the board, they meet Monday the 15th. Um, so we can, you know, we can discuss it with the board then. Um, we would like to try to, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the entire arrangements are going to be by September okay. as far as, you know, uh, capacity issues. And if, so, so guys, what do you think? I mean, do we, if I say put it on the board, if it's possible, I mean, put it on the calendar if it's possible and remove it if we have to. Is that an option, Carolyn? 
Yeah, it's not. I mean, that's not like it really requires anything in advance other than, you know, the day or two before or advertising uh, for it. So I, I don't know why it can't just be requested. They're also trying, and I, I wanted to know because they're trying to schedule some construction down there as soon as the pool closes, but we would just have to delay that, you know, a week until after Fido float. Is that okay? I mean, yeah, it's just, we need, just need to get this, get things on the schedule. So. Okay, so, so what do you Kathy, it, the good news is it really doesn't cost us any money. Uh, I'm part of my Qantas group. We have our galley event every year and it's in November and we're going to cancel because people have to buy tickets. With this, it's a minimal fee people are paying. Um, I don't think we should, my opinion, I don't think we should cancel it at this point. I think we should plan on having it. Um, because if we need, if it were in a different phase at that point, it'll be easy to cancel with almost no expense to us. Uh, uh, yeah, I agree with Andy. Absolutely. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I completely agree. I vote for okay. I agree. All right. Yeah, we didn't have any intention of taking it off. We had, so we're so good at this right now that <laughs> I would love to dump and stay on. Today would have been the golf outing. Anyway. Oh, I know. <sighs> I was thinking about that. Yeah, it was a sad that. morning. Morning when I got up, uh, yeah. Well, I, I just, you guys know that, that it, I mean, it's us, and we do such a good job of setting up Fido Float, and, right. I mean, it's, and Jim, he's so good, and, but if any of you were hesitant in being there, I wouldn't want to put anyone in a position they don't want to be in. That's the whole, but we're all good, right? Yeah. I don't think there's a way to if we have if we're required to social distance or we're required to do shifts. I mean that's that's not that hard. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is, I was going to say, is there a way we can figure out to have you know people sign up for blocks? Yep. Of time, so. Okay. Yep. We have the technology. Maybe if, I mean, if we need to do an hour at a time instead of people coming in for two hours at a time, we could do. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. But, so so yeah. we. Uh, People we can set up with that. register if we need to. All right, so I guess the big question is what color will the t-shirts be this year, Karen? Oh, I don't know. We have to get to uh, get to uh, the vet and see if uh, they'll work with us again. They will be, the color will be something we haven't had yet. They'll have to be green or you won't have it, right? Yeah, I like green. <laughs> yes, green. it'll have to be green or we won't green. have it, Warren. Green. Warren, good one, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think we, uh, we haven't had a green T-shirt yet, so yeah, there or, we go. Or, there's yeah, anything anything is better than this right now. <laughs> All right, marching forward. I will put that request on the agenda for the Fanny Chapman fifteen. Do you need me to be there or one of us to be there? Um, I'll send you an invite. Okay. Just in case, what we can pop you on at the beginning of the agenda and <clears throat> okay. If you have any questions? Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, so we canceled this Saturday's presentation, but we have one scheduled for June 20th. That's a Saturday at 10 a.m. Um, I can be there. Who is there? Anybody else who can be there? This is live in person at the township building. That's Father's Day weekend, right? No, is it really? For sure. Mm hmm. Well, might be a tougher one. We'll start slow. Um, I we'll think still we should change it. I think it's a long time to wait. Well, the thing is, is I mean, it's only. You mean, I mean keep the twentieth, Nancy? Is that what you're saying, or um, because the sixth is we're not doing the sixth. That's just yeah. Canceled. Could we do that? Could we do that Saturday before the twentieth? Whatever day that is. Well, could we do the thirteenth? I would be hesitant on getting new people in right away, um, only for the reason that the our current members haven't been able to utilize the park. And then if we get a bunch of new people right away, I, I don't know. I think I would just keep it as it as it is. Okay. That, that's fair. I, I agree with that. That's fair. That's well, fair. I think I think Kristen's got a great point. Yeah. I really do. Yep. I agree. No, I agree. Right. So so Nancy, just to clarify, we went over the um the opening and the and the, up, the the way which was presented to the board. So 
Um, everybody's good with that. And we kind of get in gradually and then <coughs> and keep moving forward. So what was the, when it, how is it being communicated? Is it going to be on our website, Karen? Be on the, it'll be on the website. It'll, we'll do it. We haven't the ability to email blast the members. So we'll email blast them. We'll post it on the, on the signs and um, we'll reach out to them um, in all the avenues we have to update people. And we just and want to make sure. Yeah. What is the date again that is it going to be this weekend since they open well, on the 5th? Um, I would like to go with Saturday. And just give us that. Because we have a lot, we have, a, as you know, we have a boatload of signs to get ready for yeah. any number of things. So if, if understood. Bear and go Saturday. That would be really awesome. Awesome. That's great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And, and Kristen, I think that's, you're right. It's awesome. Let's, let's give our, our, season members an opportunity to right. work through everything and figure things out and then and then Karen it will be that orientation once people see that the dog park is open again they will also be able to see that the orientation is that day so right. they can sign up and right and I think that was part of the plan is to just kind of gradually move into this get people feeling comfortable and safe and and away we go. Okay. And so when would be the next orientation? And I'm uh, twenty. And I'm going to be asking. I want to see. I want everybody post all your creative face masks and face coverings because we're going to have a face covering contest. Okay. Well, so so let's go back to June twentieth. Who can be there? Anybody? Happy. I mean, I, yeah, I that's I can be there. Anybody else? No. I don't know. I'm still hesitant. Um, well, okay. when you come into that, depending upon where we are on June 20th, there will be, cannot be more than 25 people, including the volunteers. There does have to be social distancing and there will be a requirement for, for mass. So um, if that puts you at ease a little bit, there, there are those, those parameters still in place forward. Hey, Karen, I, I have a I don't know if we're if we're there yet or not, but can is there any way that we could re, either request or require that anybody who is planning on registering submit everything electronically? Um, I think so. so. I think so. So that we don't have to deal with papers right. with. Right. Money with right. I mean, honestly, even if it uh, even if it has to be after that, it's not gonna it's gonna be a day or two, so it's not gonna be a, a huge delay given the circumstances. But we have a, we, our system is pretty well set up at this point where we can do an awful lot online. Um, so can we put that in the notice of that orientation that all yeah. all yes. registration will be done electronically? Nothing will be handed in that day. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Let me do us, let Caitlin and I do a couple dry runs to make sure it all works. And then okay, if you need any of us to submit anything, right yeah, now, I may ask somebody to do a dry run with us. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Sure. Does that, Donna, would that make you feel better or you just don't yeah. want to? And I, yeah, that, that would. Uh, yeah, I'd be much more comfortable if I wasn't having to. I mean, if, if we can just have to present. Right. Well, if 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 they if you if you need someone, I should be able to be there. Yeah. Uh oh, David. Yeah. Did I lose everybody again? No, we're here. I'm going to be here. here. Yeah, I'll be at the polling place all afternoon tomorrow, so I I should should be safe going to the an orientation. So. Right. Okay. Well, I'll be there too on the twentieth. <laughs> We'll make sure that we have um, controls in place. We'll make sure we have hand sanitizer and we'll identify the seating ahead of time. And if somebody does bring anything, we'll just have them take it back to their car and they can either do it electronically or come. Uh, Nail it. Or, are we open yet, Nance? We're open on the 5th. Open on the 5th. June 5th. So I can bring it back in. Yeah. So okay. um, we go yellow so, on the 5th. So we let them know that, that no. Paperwork will be handed in. It all must be done. Right. Okay. Right. right. And bear, you know, it's a little, it's a little awkward, but it works. 
So it's a, uh, we forced their hand, our, you know, our software system kind of built this for us. So we have to, so it's a little strange. You're going to have to identify whether you're a human or canine, but. And they'll, and they'll have to pay by credit card or send in a check. Yep. 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 I, I don't think the folks in the office don't want to touch too much paper either right now. So I think if we can get it going electronically, that'll be a win-win for everybody. Okay. That'd be great. All right. So then, then theoretically, we don't need as many people at the orientation. Right. Right. If, if nobody is handing anything in, we would need maybe one other person. If, but right. It'd be more just kind of controlling the room and making sure that everything. Well, is it sounds like there's two of us. If Donna is still. Okay. Yeah. I'll be there. So David, you'll be there. Sure. What okay. time? Okay, it's 10 a.m. is the start time, so 9.30 would be the show up time. I'll be there. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, all right, and then what about July? Um, shoot, I don't have my Eighth. glasses. The 8th, Karen. 6th. 8th. Okay. Oh, it says 6th on our agenda. Mm -hmm. No, it says the 8th. Mine says 8th. Okay, at 6 the topic. Win the prize. Your glasses are on the top of your head. Oh, man. Yeah, there's sunglasses. Oh, okay. I can only see the eyebrows up. Um, yeah, July 8th at 6.45 and August 3rd at 6.45. Who, um, can I get one person on those? I can help on the 8th. Or, yeah. um, I can also help on the 8th. It's Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. And how about August third because we don't have a shoot we don't have a july meeting do we no 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 july eighth no 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 i'm in i'm in a, a dog park meeting that's uh, july the sixth it says it says yeah. we have a meeting on the sixth of july park and rec doesn't meet in july okay yeah. i'm sorry I'm that's okay it all runs together after a while it's like what day is it today okay all right, so, so we're good for June, we're good for July, we're okay, we'll move. We'll see how those two go with everything going electronically and, and we'll move on from there, right, for the August. So, so that's it, so we're good, right? Good. So anybody have any comments, any questions, anything that you think we need to address? Um, anybody go with scissors? <laughs> Oh, you mean like <laughs> I have a set of clippers. I use it on Daisy's beard. Happy to do your head. Not much. Uh, no, my that's why I have the hat on. Is I my nickname is Pepe Le Pew. And uh, yeah, Todd looks like a he was starting to look like a floor carpet. Uh, yeah, well, my, I've but anyway, anyway, we'll all get through this. We will. We'll all get absolutely. Um, but do we? We have, is there anything else? Because, um, you know, we get in, get out, but I'm <laughs> sure, guys, so I wanted to hear if there was anything that, that I missed or anything conversation wise. How's um, everybody? Kristen? Yeah, I just want to say we had the opportunity to foster um, two eight month old hounds. They were Coon sisters. Hounds or were they blue ticks? Coon hounds? They, they were tree walkers. Tree walkers, okay. Yeah. They were a riot, so we had them for about four weeks, and they are in their forever home now. And it was such a treat for um, for us and for for the kids, and um, to get them on the right path. So that was a really, really great thing that we did during our our quarantine. Um, to have all your kids there, plus two pup, you're <laughs> that's amazing. But I'm sure it was a wonderful experience too. Absolutely. We were, we were so happy to do that for sure. So that was cool. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Anybody else? Nothing of significance. No? Yeah. So Donna, are you staying put? Yeah. Oh yeah. We're not traveling in the motorhome this summer. Uh, okay. We figure our grandson will probably be graduating from high school before we actually get to see him again. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> seven months old now, so you know, by the time we're allowed to cross the country again, it's going to be a long time. Well, they say that, that RVs are going to be sold out this summer, 
right? Yes. So ours, I mean, it's you could theoretically socially distance across the whole country. Absolutely. And, you know, just uh, you know, use hand sanitizer and get your way across without using restaurants and just live out of your motorhome. Yeah. Uh, you know, it takes about five or six days to cross the country comfortably, and uh, we may try to do that, like maybe September or October. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, we'll all have to see. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Anything? Oh. No? Um, motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Andrew? Second. Warren? Third. <laughs> all right. So, um, David, I will see you on the 20th, and everybody else will be back, hopefully, maybe in person on the 6th, but, you know, we will roll with whatever we need to roll with, right? Mm -hmm. So it's 9.30, uh, 930 on the 20th. Yes, please, yes. Okay. And um, Kathy, did you want me there on the 20th? Do you, can, <laughs> if you're comfortable being there, yes. If not, Donna, absolutely not. Okay, I'll email you, Kathy, um, beforehand, you know, a okay. couple of days before. Okay, all right. So all in Thank favor? You. Aye. 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 All right. All, all right. right. Then, bye. Bye. See you, everyone. See you, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thank you.